Hi Virgo, it's Gwen and I'm here to do your March energies forecast reading. Um, this is a general reading, so take what resonates and leave the rest. You know, don't try to make the story fit if it's not for you, but I'm sure there'll be some beautiful messages here for you loves. I love my Virgo tribe. Welcome to the new subscribers, to my fans and followers. Fucking love you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, I'm all settled into my new location here in Massachusetts. I'm doing readings, scheduling and booking readings, embracing new opportunities. Uh, tis the season, you know, spring energies. And um, be sure to check out the uh, new pick a card reading that I just added about the sun's wisdom because the sun is all about new beginnings. I don't know why I'm talking about that for you guys right now, but maybe it'll come out in your reading. New beginnings, clarity, warmth, vitality in your life, that inner expansion, okay? Uh, feeling good in our own skin, sun, energy. It hasn't even come out with the, the cards that I've got. I've got deer medicine on the table, and we're going to get my tarot, too, going. But deer medicine is about being compassionate. This is a leader energy, okay? The high priest and priestess, about trusting our intuition, trusting in our own powers, right? Um, Self-forgiveness comes out with this, being noble um, and compassionate. Both of those words. And cedar was the underlying energy, which is a powerful herb to use for protection. Okay? So, and with those horns there, um, you know, it's definitely how the deer protects itself. Those horns, not messing with those horns, right? Most people know, not, know that. And also, the deer sheds its horns. So... Uh, there's some self-forgiveness of the past, acceptance of the past, and an embracing a new cycle that's coming out with this deer medicine. Okay, so, and you are divinely protected with the cedar energy coming out as well. When I mean business, I'm cleansing with cedar. Okay, just know that. <laughs> When the fuckos ain't listening to this witch, I'm busting out the fucking cedar, okay? And my belts. Don't mess with this witch with the cedar and the belts, okay? Because <laughs> I did that hammer with the motion, <laughs> the cart fell out. <laughs> Three of cups. <laughs> Stop trying to eat my hair, deck. Three of cups energy. I love that for you, Virgos. So this is about celebration, sisterhood being depicted here, divine feminine energy, triple goddess energy there up in the sky, right? Coming together with tribe and celebration. Hmm, I love that. Rejoicing, the joy in life. Rejoicing in life. Two of pentacles in the reverse. Twos are about choices and decisions. Maybe you were, you know, juggling, living in two different lives, right? One foot in one life, one foot in the other with the world here. The cycle of life is ending. No longer juggling. Threes are about mind, body, spirit working together beautifully. You are attracting your tribe. After much indecision here or not feeling grounded or having to juggle finances, there's some sort of ending here. Okay. What else? For March energies for Virgo. March energies for Virgo. It slid right off the table, but yeah. It's a change in direction uh, with that chariot card coming out there as well. Um, and it even could possibly be a move, like moving to a new home um, or traveling because the chariot came out here. There's a big change, wheel of fortune, a change in your finances. A lot of sixes that are being shown to me here with the six of cups and the six of pentacles. Okay. What you're looking for in relationships right now is, uh, are you being valued? Is it reciprocity in the relationship? Do I feel stable and grounded? This is a giving is receiving kind of energy. It was in the reverse.
which could possibly mean, you know, like you're figuring that out. What, where do I feel grounded? What is my home? I found home within me. I feel stable. I feel grounded. I feel worthy. Tens, ending, beginning. I'm going to decide to let go of these relationships that no longer uh, are reciprocal. And I feel much more grounded now. I learned much wis wisdom here with the high priest looking at me. That deer energy, man. It's awesome. I love seeing the deer energy for you. I'm kind of tickled pink about that. I love deer energy. Yeah, you've been patient. Temperance coming out. You could be dealing with the Sagittarius as well. That's my card. Temperance and patience in a situation. And with the moon, moon energy as the underlying energy is like, you know, you standing up to your fears. But there, illusion, there could be some sort of illusion, things going on behind the scene. Okay. Um, let's see what else. See if it wants to pop out, then we'll get any more. I don't want to go too deep into it. That card flew in the past energy. So this could be a past energy that is still affecting your present moment. Is how I read those. Yeah. There's yeah, seven of cups in reverse. Taking off the rose-colored glasses. About something here. Yeah. I've got the Queen of Wands energy. About some sort of new beginning. This is my witch in the deck. I'm no wonder I was talking. I'm talking to a witch out there. Someone who claims that title, you know. We're all witches or priests or priestesses or alchemists or whatever word you want to use to label yourselves. We're all magical as fuck as like this Queen of Wands holding this new opportunity in her hand. She's the entrepreneur in the deck, okay? She has excellent vision. She's attracting new opportunities to her. She's highly charismatic and beautiful and driven. And yeah. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Sagittarius energy could have that in your chart coming out twice here. Okay. What else? Yeah, the Knight of Wands. Whatever your creative passions are, creative pursuits, is the time to move forward with those with these two cards coming out. Okay. The Queen of Wands knows that she's attracting with her heart. Okay, her heart sends out a frequency. It, 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 mag, it automatically attracts in that same vibration here. Knight of Wands is a lot of passion. Like this night, like whatever their cause is, full momentum forward this night. Passionate about a cause. Healed divine feminine energy with this Queen of Wands here. Okay, what else for Virgo? What else for Virgo in March? Right here on the table. Happiness is right here on the table. <laughs> I'm talking to so many of my sisters right now. That's why you're seeing this comfortable cheesiness. Because this is how I am with my sisters. And I know a lot of them watch these, this channel. And they got Virgo in their chart. Yeah. And so I'm talking to you sisters. Yeah. Happiness is right here on the goddamn table. Mm. Getting all the weirdo faces. The rainbow in the background, speaking to hope and blessings, emotional contentment, happy home, happy job, happy happiness, joy, fulfillment. Right here on the table. Ten, ten angels with you. Ten, ten angels with you. <laughs> I love when those come out together like that. Yeah, because you're taking some sort of pers new perspective, darling. Hangman energy. Yeah, where you had to pause, reflect. Take a fresh perspective. It's a sacrifice kind of card. Okay, but the sun is shining upon this situation. You've learned something. New clarity. Seeing the whole picture. Okay, about where you need to expand. And where you need to set boundaries. And what you need to fight for. And what choices you need to make. About the sun coming in about clarity, freedom, happiness. I told you sun was coming into your reading, Virgo. I just felt it. I felt it. Y'all don't make my eyebrows do crazy shit today. Okay, so let's give a future advice. And then I'm going to get an Archangel Tarot card for you, too, because Archangels were with you. I brought the cards to the table today, darlings. So, 
Future advice for Virgo in March. Future advice for Virgo in March. Mm -hmm. There's that seven of cups again. Take a step back with sevens. Reevaluate what, what makes me happy. The, the cups are your hopes, your dreams, your love. The cups. Am I disillusioned? Am I living in a fantasy? Do I need to take my rose-colored glasses off? Right? Do I need to dream more? I don't, I don't, speaking to a lot out there, do I need to take a look at myself in the mirror? Four of Wands, do I need to celebrate me more? What makes me happy? Ooh, and that might be a big change. Boom, boom tower, mm, I don't know. I'm gonna work, they say work at it slow and steady. This is my slowest night in the deck, the Knight of Pentacles. I'm gonna be dedicated, I'm gonna be committed. One step at a time, one day at a time, all in divine timing. There is no motherfucking rush. I've learned much wisdom. I am, gr I am grace. I am honor. I am nobility. I am power. I am compassionate. I am dedicated. Mm, 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 right? <laughs> I can create this reality. I find it within, it's in my outer world. It's, eh. I've been patient, I've been uh, being compassionate with myself and others. Building a solid foundation, Ten of Pentacles, investing my time wisely. <clears throat> Pausing when I need to, hangman energy. Okay, what do the angels wanna say today? For Virgo tribe, Virgo, March energies. Virgo tribe. Virgo. Virgo. March energies. Close my eyes. <laughs> Did you hear what I said? <laughs> it's seriously like I'm just. Oh. How did that happen? Very interesting. I didn't know I had one of my nine of wands was inside here. Inside my angel's deck from the last reading. Okay. That's weird. That's my wounded warrior. And it was stuck right here with the wheel. So it was stuck right here with the wheel. The wheel wants is about change in your life. And maybe you've been resistant to that and guarded to that and being defensive to that. It's stuck there. It was stuck there. I keep saying that stuck. And I just like what I said and what, what I was giggling about was I had to close my legs really quick so the card wouldn't fall through and underneath this tuffet. These cards keep falling today and going underneath this little tuffet I'm sitting on. And I have to go and like, hold on a second, guys, move the tuffet, find the card, you know. And so it didn't do that. I closed my legs really quick and I caught the card, which was the four of cups. So you've been processing Process your emotions, okay? This tells me that you're, you're in your emotions. And maybe focusing on what is lost. And see how this girl's like just looking down and what's flying around her are these beautiful dragonflies with, you know. And there are that, the dragonfly, how their, their wings catch the light, right? So it's about seeing the light in a situation, tuning into your light self, seeing um, the, the wisdom that you've learned from the past, right? Put your head up, see the light, the light again. And the six of pentacles out twice. Didn't I just talk about pentacles with you? About reciprocity? Or maybe that was, yeah, it's right here twice. I had to check. And now we got it here twice. Very important right now. Your material needs get fulfilled in magical and unexpected ways. Acts of kindness, giving or receiving with a grateful heart. Be open to receiving. This is going to restore some sort of balance in your life. Six energy, spirit, huh. pentacles are spiritual in nature, right? The abundance runs to us and through us, darling. Don't let the abundance stop with you, right? Like the kindness that was given to you, continue that kindness on. If it was a gift of money or whatever it was, whatever you can do, continue the abundance on. Mmm, I love that. And then the King of Cups. Cancer Scorpio Pisces energy coming into your reading big time. Somebody willing to share some like emotional and like 
financial with you. Like it's it's both here. This is a deeply feeling connection. This is somebody who's very warm and generous with these two coming out together. Yes, it is safe to trust the ability to accomplish many things at once. Follow your creative passions. And I said that too with the, it could be a partnership with the masculine here as well. The King of Cups, and the Queen of Wands. There's dolphin energy, which is a very playful connection. Dolphins are about divine love as well. Somebody that's warm, generous, honorable, and refined. Mm, I love that for you. And the wheel on the bottom, again, the wheel of fortune. New beginnings, end of delays, a change in direction that offers happiness. Endings and beginnings with that 10. I love you, Virgo. I'm going to leave it there. That was a great reading. I really feel good. I feel like I connected with my sisters in this one. Near and far, because we're always connected right here, darlings. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, and to my brothers out there, I just don't know. Like, we don't talk about that, my brother. Like, what do you got in your chart? Like, I usually know there's sun sign, but I don't look up for that shit from my brothers. My sisters, I, we know, because we just dissect that shit. <laughs> I love you. <laughs> Draw me some love down below. Thanks for the good karma donations. And you know you want your own personal private reading. You know you want something like this. You know you want that. You, you, you will feel like I'm just talking to you, just like you did this time. Sha, I love you.